Right, you. Did you finish that Aussie special yet? I haven't field tested it. Here's your chance. Almost. <laughs> to eliminate Headmaster Milbank, sir. No matter. We will find another method to get Milbanks out of our way. And once we begin the master plan, no one will interfere. Not even James Bond Jr. <laughs> Yes, I, th I think so. Who were those men, James? It must have been scum agents. But I have no idea why they were after us. What happened to the men who were ramming the bus? Oh, uh, I don't know. It was as if they fell off the edge of the earth. Is it, Miss Pierce? We've all been recalled for further training. Balderdash! I'll get to the bottom of this. I wonder what's happened, James. I say, fellows, look at this. Student elections next week. Ta -da! <laughs> Maybe the class president preposterous. Besides, what makes you so certain anyone would vote for me? Go for it, James! You got my vote! The people speak! You have to run, James! I wonder if there are any bananas left. Man, you'd be perfect for the job. I mean, come on, everyone thinks you're way cool. The school election is just a popularity contest. Who'd want to waste his time on that? Fellow classmates, no doubt you all heard I'm running for class president, and I feel certain I'll win the election by a landslide. That's it. I've lost my appetite. Trevor for president. Do you have any idea what this assembly is all about? No. I do know Daddy is terribly upset, but he won't say why. <clears throat> I have received orders from the Ministry of Education that the Warfield staff are to take part in a retraining program. It is, therefore, with pleasure, I introduce my temporary replacement, Mr. William Baxter. I'm pleased to meet all of you, and I'm sure we'll all get along just splendidly. We are planning several changes which I'm sure you'll like. For instance, there will no longer be a stringent grading system. right -o! Studies have shown that students learn when they want to. So, from now on, there will be no homework, no midterm, and no final tests. <laughs> Whoa! This guy's too good to believe! I'll be back before you know it. And I want you chaps to win the fencing match this afternoon. All right? No problem.
Don't worry. Everything will be better than ever. Mr. Baxter? Yes? Mr. Baxter, I just wanted to tell you what a pleasure it is to have such a modern educational genius like yourself at Gorefield Academy. And you are? Uh, Trevor. Uh, Trevor knows where it is, sir. And um, if there's anything I can do for you... There might be, Travis. That's Trevor, sir. Whatever. If you're running for class president, you must know the rest of the student body pretty well. Oh, we're like that. Good, good. Then perhaps you can tell me some things about them. Find out what they talk about. What sort of thing. You understand, don't you, Gregor? That's Trevor, sir. Good. I hope to hear from you soon. Oh, my. Gordo is really off his form today. I wish Coach Mitchell were here. I know he'd be able to help. But I did have some help. Hey! <laughs> Great job, James. What have you got against Baxter, James? He makes me nervous. He acts like he's running for student president. Yeah. Maybe he should run. At any rate, I'd like you chaps to help me find out what's up. Sure thing, James. Uh, maybe you can use my newest gadget. Hey, Trevor, stop cutting in line. Ugh. My first action as class president will be to ban beaks from the menu. The first thing you need to do is learn some manners. Now get back in line. Let go of my tray! Uh, Mr. Baxter! Oh, I'm so sorry! Uh, Sir Travis, you should watch where you're going. Travis! Look what you've done to Mr. Baxter! Mr. Baxter, please allow us to be of service. Well, it's nothing, really. No, no, we insist. Uh, can't have our headmaster looking disheveled. Well, uh, thank you, but... Don't mention it. Glad to be of assistance, sir. There. All cleaned up again. Well, thank you very much, boys. 
Everything checks out, James. Baxter's clean. Twenty years of government service, doctorate in psychology, education. Maybe he's just what he seems to be. No, something's wrong. He's... he's too perfect. Well, his staff seems to like him. They're always working late at night for him. Doing what? You know, without a grading system, there can't be that much paperwork. Gordo's right. IQ, can you call up the records of the new staff members? Bingo! What is it? The staff members all have sequential driver's license numbers. They must be faked. But why? What are they up to? I think this calls for a little surveillance to find the answer. <laughs> I'm going up to the roof. Be careful, James. All clear. This had better work, aren't you? Okay. Everything appears normal. Then four, good buddy. Let's see if there's anything to see or hear tonight. If it isn't nosy noseworthy. Do you have some news? The students all support you, Mr. Baxter. All except one. James Bond Jr. You'll make a fine class president, Teddy. That's Trevor, sir. Thank you, sir. The scope when I need one. My code name is Musk. Our mission is to capture Admiral Billings, head of the British Secret Service. Billings is chairman of Warfield's board of directors. Tomorrow morning, the Admiral will arrive at Warfield for his annual inspection tour. Once he is removed from the scene, it will be easy to infiltrate the British Secret Service. It's come all right. They're planning to take over the Secret Service. Capture what you do. Oh, no. We're losing the signal. Oh, the power must have run down on his watch radio. He sounds like he's in trouble. We better go find out. I'll get some help. Over and out. Hey, what's that? Someone's up there. Find the intruder before he can alert the authorities. Sorry, chaps. Better luck next time. Warfield is mine! Consider yourselves lucky. 
I need you for the final part of my plan. If you think we're gonna help you, forget it! Take them to their dormitory and post a guard outside the building. Make sure they are seen outside by morning. to finally meet you, Admiral Billings. What's going on around here, Baxter? Why aren't all of these students in class? It's part of our new curriculum, sir. Students make their own schedules. Oh, ridiculous. And what about these new courses I've been hearing about? If we could discuss this in my office, Admiral. All right, Baxter, you've got ten minutes to change my mind. Remember, on my signal. James was right. They're out to take over the Secret Service. We've got to stop them. But how? They're guarding all the doors. Elementary, my dear Gordo. We'll use secret weapons. Help yourself. What's this? Ah, that's my newest invention. A molecular adhesive defensive retaining system. What? A gum gun. It operates on the same principle as, uh, gum. The gum dissolves 30 minutes after application. Oh, boy! This one's mine! I just love bubble gum! Oh! Oh! Um, have you seen my contact lens? I must have dropped it right outside your door. Oh, that's tough, Trevor. Except for one thing. What's that? Well, you don't wear contacts. Oh. He's written down everything we've said. Okay, who wants to know what we're talking about, Trevor? Baxter? Mr. Baxter just wants to know what's going on around Warfield. And I'm just helping out. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> wow, if I knew I could do that, I would have gotten one of these things a long time ago. We'll be back. This way, behind the cafeteria. Oh, no! <laughs> splendid! Absolutely splendid work, Baxter. He's done it. He's got Billings. What can we do now? Go out fighting! Or James! What is this? <laughs> Get me out of this! When pigs fly! Hey! Is out of here. I'll be glad to think of something. James! Are you all right? It's a double cross. Get them! Squad leaders, take them out now. This maneuver is about to get a bit sticky. Nicely done, son. Thank you, sir. Uh, duty calls. <laughs> Must run in the family. That's all of them, sir. Splendid. James, how did you escape from being shot off of the rooftop? Simple. I wasn't. But but we all saw you. During a struggle with a scum agent, I managed to adjust his image to make him look like me. Then all I had to do was hide. Unfortunately, he ran out looking for me, not realizing he looked like me. Poor chap never had a chance. But how did you and Admiral Billings... I secretly stole another imager and made myself look like the scum agent. I stayed close enough to mask so that when he met Billings, I was there. Yes, imagine my surprise when young James appeared holding a laser on the man I thought was his headmaster. Well, once James explained everything, we secured the villain in this very room and played along with the facade. What we didn't anticipate was your timely intervention. 
Mr. Baxter, what's all this nonsense I hear about you being a scum agent? No, no, don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> right, Admiral Billings? Uh, right, uh, James. Don't believe everything you see, either. Good work, James, from you and all of your friends. Uh, but let's keep this whole escapade quiet from Mr. Milbanks. I don't think your father would understand. That's an understatement. Besides, he'll have his hands full just getting his school back to normal. Normal? What a lovely word. Don't worry, sir. After this experience, I'm a totally... new man. James Bond Jr. returns tomorrow, and it's up to him and his friends to recover a priceless sword. That's tomorrow morning at 10 to 10.